Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Edward White and I make videos around building my small businesses. I was thinking to myself, one thing that I didn't know how to do when I started out my business was create a invoice. One thing that you're probably gonna have to do within your business, whether you're selling products to a wholesale, you're um, selling a service, you're selling a consultancy, whatever it is you're doing, you're probably gonna need to produce an invoice. I'm gonna break down three ways that you can do this starting with the beginner way, the beautiful way, and then the easy way. So BBE. Right, I'm gonna jump on and I'm gonna show you the easy version first. And I'm doing this just using um, Google Docs for me, but you can use Microsoft Word, you can use anything. So here I've got invoice, really, really simple, just type it out. Here I've got the address of me. I've not included my real address because that would be silly. And um, yeah, so you can see, the address along with an email and an invoice reference. This will be useful for you or for the client that you're doing it for because they'll be able to see, hmm, I can see I need to pay, da 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 da. Um, the date of when you did the service. And then what you wanna do is you wanna include a description. So say I did a video for someone, I'm gonna say video services, I did it for one day or one whatever, um, depending on how you charge your services. And then you want to include the unit price and say you did like two days, it would be 140 instead of 70, but yeah. So the amount due for this hypothetical work is 70 pound. And you say with compliments, Edward White. And then what you want to do here is say the terms of the service. So how many days do they have to give to pay you? Tends to be with large businesses, you do it to a, a net of 30 days or I tend to charge um, within seven days of the invoice just because then it makes it easier and yeah. Um, what am I recording on? Give me a second. I'm gonna change the frame rate. Okay, this might completely mess it up. Right, I am apologize for the jump in, in design. Um, okay, so yeah, now you wanna give them the payment options and you wanna say to them, it is gonna be, we're gonna take payment by PayPal, um, by card payment, by direct debit, whatever it is you, however you take payment, you might take payment with cash. Give them the options and if you do take payment by card and you want to do a bank transfer, make sure that you include the bank details of your bank that you want the money to go into, so then it just makes it easier and saves you the hassle of having to go back and give them that details. Let's jump on to the beautiful, one now and for this one this is maybe if you're a beginner but you you care about the design of your work so this is how we do our wholesale orders um, and if we do wholesale we'll, we'll send out one of these invoices so that people can pay us for me the good thing about this is that it's on brand it looks really nice and it looks really professional okay so here we are in the invoice and you can see that it says Beloit business it's got our office address for the Beloit business where it's registered, it's got our email, got our website. We've also included a, a, a number again, so Beloit business 004, that just to help us track it and to help the client track it. And then we've also got the quantity, what the product is, the unit price, and then 35 pound times eight is 280. So we've included the subtotal and then the total, and then again, payment is due within however many days. Um, up here, you can see that we've included the account details and the sort code so that people can just pay via bank transfer. It looks really nice, it's on brand, it's got branded colors, it's got branded um, icons that, that are applicable to our business, but this one does take a little bit more time and it's probably not worth it because ultimately an invoice is an invoice. People had to pay money. Psychologically, they don't really give a shit if it looks nice, they just kind of want to get it out of the way and get it off their mind. So. I'd say maybe don't do this option, maybe go for the next option. So the easy option is to go on to QuickBooks, which is what I'm on now. And this is basically an, an, an accounting tool, but you can do it as a small business, and it makes a really easy way to create invoices, to manage your money, and then to see who's paid you, who's not paid you, and how to, um, it's really simple, just go over here, go to create invoice, Again, I'm going to select the customer. This is where you can have whoever you've dealt with before, any of your customers, and they can all be in here. Um, so let's say Adobe, uh, leave that as it is. Um, the billing address, this would be the address that the company 
uses. So, and then again, your terms, you can add your own or you can do seven days, which is my normal one. The invoice date, so this is again, the date that you did it. Um, what the service date is, what your products or service is. And again, it, it just makes it really simple. So you can have a drop down and choose which one it was. If you do lots of different things or lots of different products, um, the description, quantity, again, as I've explained before, really similar message on invoice. So this is where I'd, I would put your payment details um, and I'd have it, please pay us by da, 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 bank transfer. The best way to do this is have a document or somewhere. So say I'd have notion where I can just copy in, play in bank, uh, pay by bank transfer in here. And then what you want to do is save and send. I need an email. Um, let's say it was 30 pound for an hour. Okay, so now, now you can see that the invoice has been created and they can then review and pay it. Um, and it will come from QuickBooks at notification.com. I think you can add a Gmail address. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, and then you can see save and send and then that will send to the relevant people. Really simple way to do it and really, really effective. I would say so those are three ways you can create an invoice for your business. Three really simple ways and three ways to keep on track of your money. Um, I would say initially don't pay out for maybe, if you haven't got that many clients and you haven't got that much money coming in, don't pay out for like a QuickBooks because it is a subscription and it does cost about £25 a month. So, which isn't a huge amount, but if you're starting out, it can be a cost. So use the word option. Again, this just will take a little bit more of your time to keep track of, but ultimately you're saving yourself that money and then when it does sort of flip and you do have the space and the leeway to change that then i would say go on to the quick looks one the beautiful one does look nice and i'd say if you did have the time to create it and you do care about how things do look then do do go and do design a nice pretty invoice but i wouldn't say it matters that much i hope you found this video useful and i just want to say thank you so much for watching um let me know in the comments if there's any questions like you're starting out and you need help or you just have that little question that's niggling on your mind. Let me know in the comments and I would love to help. Um, if you have started a business, one of the things that you might want to consider is building a brand around your business. I've made a video about this, which I will link up here. You can go and watch it and you can learn how to build brand guidelines for your business and really get the structure in place before you take it any further. Thank you for watching, keep building your business and goodbye.